All right, I'm going to try to abridge the first chapter of Fantasy Star Online 2 story. So, all right. So, Gian just bob babbles. Basically, it some space lady. It's like, uh, have you ever watched Voyager? Do you remember the caretaker or even Deep Space Nine, the wormhole aliens? That's that's what she is, wormhole alien. Um, this is uh, freaking Athlin. Athen. I uh, listen to the Japanese. He's uh, Australian in English, and he just calls you partner a lot or bu uh, buddy or mate. Mate. That's why he says mate. It's uh, Ibo in Japanese. Uh, you fight this guy. Remember, whenever you fight anything, if you put it on hardcore, uh, you'll get uh, bonus SG if you do it as an S rank. Um, this is, you find a freaking girl on the ground. Guess what? She has no memories. Wow. Who would have thought? And uh, then she wakes up and she says how great you are. Uh, these, Patty and Tia, are like... Um, like a Japanese comedy duo. Um, I forget what it is, like Boke something, right? It's definitely not Uke and Seme, I know that. But uh, Boke and something, like Straight Man and Goofy Man. I, I would just skip all of these. Uh, you're not gonna like them. Uh, so, you don't even know who she is yet. Uh, you could probably skip her videos. Uh, basically, oh, you see through a camo. That's it. Uh, this guy is a hunter, and he thinks uh, forces are idiots. This is a force, and she thinks hunters are idiots. Uh, this is Risa. She's a psychopathic robot. Her Japanese voice is pretty entertaining. I don't know about her English one, but it's probably worth watching these ones. Uh, hey, it's, she still doesn't have her memories back. Wow. Um, more babbling from your wormhole alien. Uh, oh no, someone's missing. Hey, look, you found her. She really likes dragons. Uh, again, you see through her stealth, like, ooh, we're foreshadowing for something, I wonder. Uh, this guy's a jack-off. Basically, that's all you need to know. You have this lady again, this lady again, this lady again. Nothing really happens in these. Like, it's, oh, the dragons are becoming false spawn, blah, blah, blah. Um, then you beat the false spawn out of a dragon and heal him, and no one really explains why you can do that. Uh, it's, this guy's still a jackass. Uh, she still doesn't have her memories back. More babbling. Uh, Fori is, like, a little cute gentle robot girl that's basically it um this is the jack offs like uh she's obsessed with them and you learn why later uh this is more more oh i'm an assassin i'm so conflicted uh hey look there's this is the dragon that she needs to go kill uh, this is Affin again, he calls your partner a few times. More Fori, more Fori, more Fori. And she meets these little aliens, falls in love with them, whatever. Uh, still doesn't have her memory back. More babbling. Uh, Zeno is just, you know, talking about regrets, his past, whatever. Uh, she still can't get over that she's in love with the jack off. Uh, again, she wants to kill a dragon. Um, this is Sarah. She has some deal that you learn out, you learn later. Uh, Claris Cray just um, calls you Kisama a bunch, bonehead in the English translation. That's basically it. Really not, not much going on here. Uh, Oh god, so this lady, she can't become an ARX person. And you're gonna, every cutscene is about how she can't become an ARX person, but her friend can, that's it. 
uh, this guy is her friend. So then it's about how, well, he doesn't have the personality to be Arx, but he's good at it, blah, 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 blah. You can skip all their stuff. Um, Zig just wants to make swords. Again, Patty and Tia. Um, this is like some, this is where there's actually a little bit of a story happening where it's like, oh, I put in my report to ARCs and blah, blah, blah. They didn't, they didn't follow up on it. I wonder why. Um, I don't know, man. I think he, uh, I forget this one, honestly. It's probably not that important. Uh, you beat the tar out of Persona again. And one thing to remember is you could do all these missions on, um, like, a level 20 character, and they'll be much easier. So, don't, like, if you're level 75 and your gear's not great, you can have a lot of trouble on some of these, because they, they scale automatically. Uh, Matoy gets headaches or something, whatever. Uh, now he really wants to make swords. Uh, battling... Uh, Fori's talking to the wildlife, talking to the Ewoks again. More Ewoks. Um, this guy wants to kill the Ewoks or something, because he's crazy. She's still crying. This guy's still crying. That's literally all their cutscenes are, is them belly aching. Uh, Zig still wants to make a sword. You're trying to help him make a sword. Um... Ibo, 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 mate, 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 uh, more of that, you find the thing you were looking for that Zig wants you to find, uh, she's still getting headaches, wow, Zig's like, wow, great, you gotta find more stuff, she says you gotta find more stuff, they're like, hey, we gotta find more stuff, let's find more stuff, um, Ibo, 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 uh, boohoo, woe is me, uh, I'm a fucking psychopath. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I want to kill a dragon. I don't even... I even... Okay, there we go. Um, she still wants to kill the dragon. Blah, 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 blah. A lot of this is not important. Like, I watched all of this. And I can barely remember it. You, you gotta prove yourself to the draconians here. Uh, she still got headaches. Uh, he still wants to build a staff for whatever. Uh, she becomes like a Ark's uh, yeoman. She's not like a real operative, but she's you know the the working class that supports the uh, bougie Ark's operatives who spend millions and millions of meseta on you know slutty clothing. Uh, yep, he's, they're less bitchy now, uh, she made friends with the dragons, uh, there's an attack, oh no, we've been attacked, um, somebody stole the staff Zig was making for you, oh no, uh, so his little girlfriend croaks and he goes crazy, uh, Ventoy babbles, Wormhole Alien babbles, uh, Rogio's like, oh, they're trying to kill me or something. You'll find her with, I guess, with Sarah. And, um, then, like, Sarah's like, we gotta go to the ruins and figure out stuff. And, okay, fine, we'll figure out stuff. And we're in the ruins now, and we're looking up stuff. And then, uh, surprise. The crazy guy goes crazy and puts dark falls in himself, which turns him African American. And it's a eight-year-old Japanese game. I don't know what you want. Uh, Zeno dies. Nobody dies actually, but he dies. Um, it's it's like an anime plot. Nobody dies. Uh, Ibo, Ibo, Ibo. Uh, babbling. This mission is really annoying because there are clones in it, but you don't actually have to fight the clones. I don't know if that stops you from getting an S rank or not. I think it's just time based, but if you're not careful, the clones can really easily dust you. So be aware of that. Uh, you meet Huey, and his whole basis is that he's loud and annoying. I, I like his Japanese voice, I like his scenes, he's funny, but it's up to you to watch these ones. 
Eyeball, eyeball, eyeball. Um, we're gonna... Now it's find time for the tournament arc. Blah, blah, blah. You run the tournament with uh, Athen. Uh, the tournament is based on killing enough uh, mobs. So if you... If you don't have enough points by the end of it, you won't get your S rank and you won't get your star gems and you have to do the whole fucking thing again. Uh, these, these women again. Flory's still friends with the Ewoks. Um, Athen is like trying to save his sister. Now, I haven't watched, listened to this in uh, English, but I imagine like. The, uh, the voice actor doing the Australian accent and trying to be all emotional is pretty funny, so I'd say, like, watch these ones. Uh, more babbling. Oh, there's an idol all of a sudden. I'm not even gonna spoil that one. Um, so, the titles kind of spoil it a little. I mean, maybe you could... I don't know if you could put this one together, viewer. Uh, so, alright you think it would end, like, here, because, like, I, I thought it would end here, but there's more stuff, and then you finally help this lady, Kuna, find Hadrid and beat his ass, and there's some idle music during it, it's pretty good, it's alright. And the sub-story stuff are basically, like, NPC introductions, so if you didn't think any of these guys were interesting or funny... I would not watch their um, sub stories. I would just watch Risa's because she's good. So that's it. Wow, that wasn't so bad. I guess when I finish chapter two, I'll do that too. There you go.